really still a lot of open questions about how tidal disruption events happen and unfold. About a hundred of them known still in the uh, universe, so it's not that many of them yet. One of in galaxies that have had these huge mergers, you reach that pressure point sooner. And so actually you have these, the burp, point. the burp point, exactly. This is what black holes do, right? I like to say that they burp. Essentially they're trying to take in so much at once that the easiest thing to do as that pressure builds up and builds up is to throw some material back out. Picture this, a sudden burst of light blinds you while intense radiation surges through your body. The ozone layer disappears and the earth gets shrouded in smog. As deadly cosmic rays hit our fragile atmosphere, life teeters on the edge of destruction. Though it seems like a fictional story, this scary scenario could happen as scientists have discovered a supermassive black hole is pointing directly at Earth. So, how did they discover it? In the heart of the enigmatic galaxy PBC J23339, a staggering 657 million light years away from our planet, lies a formidable cosmic beast. This supermassive black hole has captivated the attention of space researchers who are now on the edge of their seats because of recent unexpected shifts in its behavior. They discovered that the supermassive black hole has shifted its direction a full 90 degrees and is now facing directly at us. But you might wonder, it doesn't really matter because black holes are extremely far away in space, and this monster is more than 600 million light years away. How can it possibly harm us anyway? This is precisely what Dr. Lorena Hernandez Garcia, an astrophysicist who led the team of researchers examining the galaxy, imagined before she stated something far more unsettling. The research team employed a wide range of telescopes to study the galaxy, ranging from radio waves all the way up to gamma-ray telescopes. In addition, they analyzed data from cutting-edge observatories such as Germany's 100M radio telescope Effelsberg, Yale University's Smart's 1.3M optical telescope, and the Penn State Neil Gorel's Swift Observatory. Together, these colossal instruments unveiled something we didn't expect about the galaxy, and its supermassive black hole turns out that this black hole is a blazer. Blazers are like cosmic supermen that shoot ultra-powerful energy jets out of the center of their galaxies. These beams resemble radiant laser-like emissions, so intense that they outshine the entire galaxy they inhabit. Imagine a colossal flashlight with the power to illuminate an entire city block that's the might of a gamma-ray burst. However, it's important to note that a typical gamma-ray burst associated with blazers lasts only a few seconds, sometimes even milliseconds. In perspective, the largest thermonuclear bomb ever detonated, the Tsar bomb didn't do anything to our atmosphere, and it was fired right here on Earth. But a gamma-ray burst such as the PBC Galaxy 1 can do much worse in a mere 10 seconds. Blazers are capable of emitting energy that surpasses anything our sun could produce in its 10 billion years lifetime. But that's not all. Their gigantic energetic jets can span tremendous distances. Take the Messier 87 blazer, for instance, located about 50 million light years away from Earth. Its jets are so extensive that they measure 5,000 light years in length. To put it into perspective, the distance between the Sun and Pluto is just 0.00078 light years, a tiny fraction of the enormous jet stream. As we peer into the seemingly infinite expanse of space, blazers emerge as ancient witnesses to the history of our universe. These cosmic giants have been around since the beginning of time, showing us how things have changed over billions of years. At the core of these blazers are supermassive black holes situated at the heart of galaxies, functioning as gigantic cosmic engines. These black holes consume vast amounts of gas and dust, making a spinning whirlpool called an accretion disk. As stuff gets pulled into the black hole, powerful jets of energy and radioactive matter shoot out at blazing speeds, creating these magnificent jet streams. When one of these high-energy jets points right at Earth, it is called a blazer which is visible from millions or even billions of light years away. Although it is certain in the early days of the universe, black holes feasted on vast amounts of interstellar dust, allowing blazers to outshine even the brightest ancient stars. Yet, these cosmic supermen are shrouded in mystery, leaving scientists puzzled about their inner workings and the source of their extraordinary energy jets. And if we talk about the PBC galaxy, Dr. Hernandez Garcia and her team have discovered two mysterious objects called lobes, surrounding the blazer. These lobes are like remnants of the galaxy's past, 
frozen in time for us to observe and study. The researchers were stunned to uncover that the cosmic forces at play could also pose an imminent threat to our own planet. Imagine a scenario where the world faces a cosmic threat so perilous it could rival the apocalyptic events depicted in the movie. 2012 In this film, a planetary alignment triggers colossal solar flares that unleash devastating consequences for Earth, from massive power outages to widespread communication failures. Such an event isn't purely fictional. In fact, if a solar flare was aimed directly at Earth, it could cause serious problems for us. The intense radiation could strip away the ozone layer, which protects us from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. This would lead to increased exposure to UV radiation, potentially causing health issues for us and other life on Earth. But the trouble wouldn't end there. The high-energy particles in the jet could also interfere with our communication systems and even damage satellites in orbit. And if satellites in orbit go down, a lot worse can happen in a few minutes. Now, imagine an even more powerful and destructive force, a blazer event. If a blazer were to disable our satellites, the impact on our daily lives would be colossal. Global transportation systems rely heavily on satellite signals for GPS navigation. With GPS rendered useless, various transportation methods would be plunged into chaos, leading to disrupted routes, delays, cancellations, and even tragic accidents. With a staggering 100,000 flights crisscrossing the American skies daily, any disruption to our GPS navigation systems could spell disaster for air travel and the global economy. In 2019, major airlines like Delta, American Airlines, and United experienced the consequences of GPS issues firsthand. With air traffic control systems in disarray, countless delays and over 400 flight cancellations ensued, exposing the delicate nature of our GPS infrastructure and the dangers of over-reliance on these systems. Though the recent incident was merely a degradation and not a total collapse, it raises the chilling question, how could a powerful blazer devastate our economy? Solar flares and blazers might seem like remote and enigmatic wonders of the universe, but their potential to wreak havoc on our economic lifelines is all too real. A 2013 study revealed that a colossal solar flare or coronal mass ejection could inflict a staggering $600 billion to $2.6 trillion in economic damages upon the United States alone. And should a blazer cast its baleful eye upon our planet, emitting a potent burst of radiation, our electronic and communication systems could be irreparably damaged. Worse still, the lives of astronauts boldly exploring the final frontier would be in grave danger. As Professor Ng D. Liu of China's State Key Laboratory of Space suggests, the recovery time from such a disaster could be as long as 4 to 10 years. And according to Daniel Baker of the University of Colorado, I have come away from our recent studies more convinced than ever that Earth and its inhabitants were incredibly fortunate that the 2012 eruption happened when it did. In fact, if the eruption had occurred just one week earlier, Earth would have been in the line of fire. Since there are billions of stars more massive than our Sun, it has been observed that every day, astronomers detect around one gamma-ray burst in the vast expanse of the universe. But here's the catch. They can only detect those that happen to point in our direction, which means that we're probably missing out on a lot of them. It's like trying to catch raindrops with a strainer. This makes us wonder about how GRBs are spread out in space. Believe it or not, gamma-ray bursts have happened close to us before. The odds of a GRB happening in our galaxy or a nearby one are about 1 in 5 million years, but objects close to the burst may remain unscathed if they lie outside the beam's path. Scientists have postulated that evidence exists pointing to a nearby gamma-ray burst around 450 million years ago, which may have triggered a mass extinction event on our planet. This epoch, known as the Ordovician Silurian Extinction, ranks among Earth's most devastating extinction events, snuffing out over 85% of marine species and 60% of terrestrial life. The precise cause remains a topic of debate. But one theory suggests a nearby GRB unleashed a colossal volcanic eruption, spewing greenhouse gases that eventually led to the mass extinction. The fallout from a typical blazer impact, such as one from the PBC galaxy, would be reminiscent of a nightmarish horror movie brought to life. But it is essential to remember that humanity will have made significant strides in space research and exploration by then. 
and the prospect of interstellar travel offers a glimmer of hope for humanity's survival in the face of such threats.